Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for coming back. <laughs> if you have not subscribed, make sure to subscribe. A few people subscribe and might want to. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Um, just wanted to kind of show, um, I did do a kind of glam look. And now I'm going to kind of, I want to show how I help get rid of some of these lines so I'm going to show you my little technique here I am addicted to this stuff this is YSL and it is I can't even say it it's Tosh Toshelat Blur Primer it's the one with the little gold dots in it as you can see I am highly addicted to this stuff I go through it like crazy I've already put that on and it is very moisturizing. Um, if you have fun lines and you have stuff that settles in, it's great for that because it does help. The other thing is, this here is a professional. I've been picking this up a little bit and using it. It's a little heavier and I just use it, I kind of dab it right into some, I'm having some texture issues right in here on my cheek. And of course, I always talk about, I hate these little pesky buggers around my mouth you know I smoke for 30 years and these run in my family too I think if I didn't smoke I'd still have them because my mom's like my mom's like 70 well sorry mom 68 <laughs> and um she has this oh too and um but not as bad as me and I'm only 48 so anyway so I take that and I'm kind of heavy handed with it. And if you see, I'm just kind of plotting it in. I'll tell you a neat little thing I just found out yesterday in Ulta. Besides, their credit company is a crock of crap. Their credit card company blocks their phone number when they call you. And my phone um, carrier, if you block your phone number, my phone carrier puts in there across the screen, scam likely. So I pick up the phone. Don't call this number again, wouldn't you? So it was credit uh, services for Ulta. And this was back in, it was like a month after the hurricane here because our house flooded and we had problems. And anyway, my payment was like two weeks late. Anyway, that happened. They blocked my card. They blocked my card. They called it me giving a cease and desist, meaning don't call me anymore. So to block me from charging up my card and not paying the bill, they blocked my card. So I write a letter stating that I'll let them call me <laughs> and I'll pay my bill. Even though I've been paying my bill for the hurricane was like three months ago and my bill's current and I was only trying to charge like $50 on there. And... I had like 600 available or something, 500, uh, something crazy. I don't know. Anyway, back to this. <laughs> but I found out something neat. This is the 7.5 mil, 0.25 fluid US ounce professional. There is a, oh, here we go. And I do have in here, I, are they going to say what it is? This is 0. 0.67. Is it 0.67? Wait, no. Hold on. This is the wrong one. This is not the same one. Is it? 20 mil. No, this is the... This, it was a smaller one of this. But um, it was the pore filler in the smaller container of this. It was $13. Which it was a... This was a 0.7... 7.5 and it was like a 6 point something or something. But this is $11. And NYX was 13 Just saying. Anyway, proves that uh, just because it is a higher end brand, it doesn't mean anything. Anyway. I have been loving this foundation here. Um, there's a few of them I've been loving. I'm loving more the dewy type thing. And, um, one of the ones I'm really liking, but I'm kind of like too light for this now. I think, let me see. I think I'm way too light for this. Let me see. Uh, that looks terrible. 
It's hard to see. It's hard to see if I can do it. Can I get away with it? Mm. Yeah, I could probably pattern that down a little bit. Because I, I like how this one looks so much better. And I'd rather show you guys uh, less expensive than going with Clinique's. So I'm going to go. I have mentioned this to somebody online. They were asking me about settling in lines. This is the Maybelline Fit Me. It's a dewy foundation. Um, this is in the Colère Classic Ivory. Now, I like to take it and pour a little bit onto a palette. And I like to use my... This is the um, Pure Cosmetics. Um, I forget what they call this brush. It's an oval brush. It's like the Artiste brush, but it's a heck of a lot cheaper. But I have noticed I went and bought the one off of eBay. The whole set of like 12 of these are $10. There's not much difference after you've used it for this one for a while. It looks like that. There's not really much difference. So, <laughs> that said, I don't see the difference. Anyway, I like this because you can really get in and blend this in. And the whole thing with textured skin and uh, fine lines is getting it into... You see me going up, down, side to side, every which way. God... That is like, I don't know what that, it's like a blemish, but it's not. It's almost like a little infection under my skin. It's weird. It's not open. And it will go away. I keep putting, um, Tarte has this wonderful little mask. It comes with the gold and the, um, the clay. And when I get any kind of little blemish, I take that clay and just put a little dot. I bought this stuff like so long ago when it first came out. And I've barely used any of it. But anyway... You want to go in with this. You don't want to over blend to where you like went and wiped this completely off. This is not a full, full coverage. I would say this is a medium to full. You're still going to see some of your skin through, but it will, you see it evened out the, my complexion a lot. That's... You want to make sure when you have fine lines to keep it from settling in. You want to go with the line. You want to go against the line each way and with the line and just kind of see how I got that. I've got that line on my forehead right there. You see how I went right in in, in the little lines right here. I'm not scared to show you guys my lines. I'm going to show you. See? It's not settling in. It's blended in. You want to make sure. And a dewy foundation is really going to help. A matte foundation tends to be too drying. And if you have fine lines, that means most likely you have a drier type skin. Although I've seen oily skin. But for the most part, as we get older, our skin does get drier. You want to, of course, blend this off down the neck. Actually, that kind of turned out to be a pretty good color. I'm kind of liking it. It is a little... A little dark for me. I'm like, I've been really sick and I've been very pale, but also I haven't been outside a whole lot and I don't get sun on my face anyway, but my body is even light, which is not normal. I usually get some skin because I, some sun because I am in Florida. Okay. Now you can let this set. And go on and do your eyes and just not touch your face. Or you can take a light powder and kind of dust it on. I'm going to stay along the lines of inexpensive products. This is the RCMA No Color Powder. This thing will last you. I kid you not, I use this like, I've used this every day for like a month or two months. And I barely use any. I take this and I will put a little bit on my palette down here. Or, as you guys know, my little glass table, I'll just tap a little bit out. Not a whole lot. You want, now with textured skin, you want a nice, fluffy, loose, very loose, floppy powder brush. And you want to take it, and not real heavy, 
when you get your product and I'm always telling you guys start on the edge because you don't want to cake that in there see how I went a little heavier and I'm dusting it in now if you have oilier skin you you're going to start down the center of your t-zone because you need that that powder to absorb oil as the day goes on now us drier girls do not need that matter of fact you do not want very much powder anywhere you want just enough as you see I've not I dipped twice into there now on your more textured areas like I have these here you want to open open the the wrinkled area and lightly make sure you've dusted into there because if you don't that product that's still a little moist, you know, and not really set real good, is going to move around and it will settle in that line. If you set your makeup where you want it, it won't move. Now, there's certain areas that I powder a little more, which is like my top lip, I go to town. Of my nose and the end of my nose and right around the tip of my nose, because my nose runs like... Uh, like the Boston Marathon. <laughs> oh, God. Somebody said something about my laugh the other day. You know, I read all you guys' comments, and I, I just love all the support. You guys are awesome. There we go. And that is how you get a nice, not real cakey, but pretty finished, nice, foundation look and from there anything you put on on top of it you want to make sure to blend now that you've got your makeup set real well you've got a good foundation for things so then we are going to let's I'm going to stay along the lines of inexpensive items and I am going to go into this here this is it's Too Faced but it's a free sample. <laughs> I don't really have a, I don't have a, um, wait, do I have, hold on. Oh, I have, hold on guys. I have a, a bronzer that I've not even ever tried. I'm scared. I have two different colors over here. They both look a little dark. These were $1 and they are from, um, hmm. It looks a little, this is way too dark. This is more what I would contour almost with. This isn't too bad. This is a matte bronzer and this was $1 and it was from uh, Shop Miss A. And we're gonna go in with that. And uh, with a bronzer, just, I love this brush. If you guys can splurge it all. Now you see, I'm just I'm going into the, sh the bottom of my hollow of my cheek. That is a little red. <laughs> and I'm just kind of dusting it. What you're doing is just kind of putting some color back. Because you've taken most all of your color out when you've when you put your foundation on, you've made a base. Plus you have to keep in mind I, that's a little that's a little dark for me. <laughs> but now that gives me an opportunity to show you guys if you if you get this and you don't like it just barely you want to dip in brush off all the extra you know come at the jawline because you're gonna want that a little lighter anyway and then just kind of dust it that was just I just felt that was a little dark I'm going to the grocery store so and I've already done my makeup twice today. I wanted to do this mask and I had my makeup on. I took it off to do the mask. There you go. But that's how you can fix it. I do have my studio light right there. So everything looks different from that light. That main old bright light. But there you go. That gets it kind of... Uh, I am so pale that anything is showing up crazy on me. But anyway... Go in with a little bit of bronzer. And I'm not a real big 
not a real big blush person at all. And um, I tend to just use a little bit of bronzer, throw a little eye on, throw a little lip on, and um, see ya. On my daily, like, just go outs. And uh, that's what I'm going to show you today. Eyelash, whoop. God, that palette's so loud. Sorry, guys. I'm, I don't like to leave the foundation dry on my palette. Um, I show you guys this probably every video I think I've showed you guys this. This is from the dollar store. You go to where the candles are in the Dollar Tree, and they have these. It's just a little, and I like it because it doesn't sit flat on the table, but it's nice and flat. It's got a little lip, so it doesn't, if you put too much foundation on it, it doesn't spill. And it's big enough that if you want to blend a couple colors together, you can put them on and you have an area to blend. I love that. And, um... Let's see. I need a blush. Sorry, guys. I, I'm, I'm not one to, like, have everything set up. Know what I'm going to say to you guys. And I'm not one of those. Here we go. This is Marvelous. Marvelous. From Revlon. And this is... Uh, this is the kind of blushes I, I kind of gravitate grab grab toward. I kind of, I have red to my skin, but it's more of an orangey red, so I tend to go for, for more of, it's kind of a corally kind of color. I tend to go for a little more of a darker kind of burgundy kind of tone for a blush. I wanted to tell you guys something. That's what I forgot. ColourPop has these brushes, and they're awesome. I just got mine. This is their powder brush, and I'm telling you, I like it for blush, and I just go in... I'm not a big blush person, I'll tell you. You just put a little bit of color back into that cheek. Everybody talks about putting put it at the apple. I don't put it at the apple on my cheek. I put it right here and brush it back. Brush it back. Right here and brush it back. Because I don't need this. I got this. I got I got I got all you could want of the red right here. I got all that all day. All I want to do is kind of blend it back. See, go away. You guys must think I'm like the stupidest thing that's ever, ever lived. But you know what? I, I think it's funny. I like it. I like being goofy, man. I like having fun. All right. On to brows. Never found a... a I just can't find a, a, an inexpensive one. Uh, this goof-proof brow pencil from my day is just like... I think these are like 20 bucks. But I will tell you, if you use this every day, I just, you see what I do? I just barely, just to kind of fill in, because I'm getting old, and then my brows just like to walk away with it. Or again, I think they go on vacation. Who knows? Your hair turns gray, your hair falls out. Plus, I have gastroparesis, so I have very bad hair problems. My hair is falling out. As you guys see, I have this patch. It's like, it, this has been, my hair was here, and it just keeps moving back. I'm getting a receding hairline. We can all talk here, right? <laughs> but I just, this thing, I've had this, God, I've had this, I'm going to have to throw this away before I ever use it all. This goof proof brow, because I mean, you just barely, if you watch what I do, I barely let it, I pretty much let my hair grab the product I don't like rub the product in and that's about all I do for that and um I'm kind of old school so if you girls are around my age you know we always put always gotta put something in the water line I don't it's an addiction what color do we want to do today I tend to gravitate more towards like purples because I love purple and um let's see if I have an inexpensive purple. I think I do. I have a Revlon Color Stay Automatic Pencil in Purple. This is what color is this? This is amethyst. And I'm just gonna pop some of this into my waterline. I must have wore this with the glitter. 
because I had glitter on the end of it. I have a piece of glitter flying around. This also made the other day starting eyeliner on fire. It, um, what's her name? Uh, Concilio, and welcome to the video for her. Anyway, shoot, I think that was her starting eyeliners on fire. And, you know, if you guys are laughing right now like I am, she has no clue. We lit eyeliner on fire because the damn things were so hard. They were like a chalk pencil. And that was the only way you could get it on. You had to light, and you don't light it on fire. You lit your you lit your lighter, and you hold it up above and roll it. Remember those old pencils, and we used them for like our eyebrows or eyeliner. Hell, I used it to line my lips. Remember that, like in the eighties when we all lined our lips with like dark, crazy colors. Anyway, what else do I have in here? I'm trying to. Uh, this is an Ulta crayon. Coco Puff. I love this color. It's a shadow pencil and these are great because I, I like to wear something on my lid at like all the time just because it see how it pulls that lid forward. And I'm just doing it like a quarter of the way above my um lash line. There we go. And I'll tell you girls, I am queen of the free samples. Get down with the free samples, I'll tell you. I have got my favorite mascara in the world is a, a um, you're going to laugh at this. This is my favorite in the world mascara. It is oh, um, Urban Decay Perversion. This is the one that came in like an Ipsy box or something. I love this so much, I went out and bought this. I don't like this. I like this. What is, you know, and let's, let's just open it up. This is the full size. Okay. And this is the sample one. You see the difference in that, how fluffy this brush is? I wonder if I stick that one in the big one, if it'll do that. But this one's like, I don't know. It's not the same. It's almost like they fix a product. So we'll go buy it. You know because of the sample and it's not the same so then you want to go find another sample i don't know but i'm gonna throw some of this on i like this because it's very light i have very long lashes i don't do a lot of oops as i make a mess i don't do real heavy lash looks I don't think I need to. Can you see how long my lashes are? See that? These lashes are like so long. I put a pair of fake lashes on the other day and I swear to God my lashes were longer. It was crazy. Anyway, that is that. I hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, 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 cannot forget. I have, I cannot find, um, actually, you know what? I do have one. Um, I'm out of it right now. NYX makes a dewy uh, setting spray. And I usually don't don't put my mascara on before I do this because with dewy sprays you can mess it up. Make sure to shake it. I always spray it once or twice. Oh god. I'm trying not to get it on my lashes. And that just, see that brings that life back to that glow back to your skin. That the foundation takes away and anybody anybody out there that has fine lines and a little bit of texture and whatnot you'll know what I'm talking about as soon as you start drying that uh, oops, as soon as you start drying your skin out anymore your texture is going to be ten times worse I got mascara on my eye life goes on but now I don't have the I'm like so unprepared here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is ColourPop and it's called the Twirl. If you guys have checked out ColourPop, they have some great colors. This is a coral. This is a real pretty coral. It shows up so orange online on the uh, on video. 
It's very coral. It's I like it though. It's very pretty. But with a nice casual look like this, I'm going to the grocery store. You know what? And I, years ago, I was all about lipstick and mascara, and I didn't give a crap about the rest. The rat's tush, you know? But I wanted to show you guys a little inexpensive color. Um, I am really loving taking that and pairing it with this. This is a matte color. This is the Nicki Minaj, and this is pink print. And I have been mixing these together. Tell me that is like not the prettiest. color together um I got it on there but let me show you the I'll show you what this looks like by itself it's a, it's a very light pink and this is almost it's lighter than my my actual lip color so I like to put this over something a little brighter like that it kind of tone that down and I always blot my lips always blot my lips because I love to kiss my man and he don't like lipstick on him. So I'm always going, nope, can't do it. Nope, can't do it. No, can't. <laughs> but guys, I hope you enjoyed. Um, I really enjoy making these videos for you guys. And I hope you guys enjoy watching. And um, stay tuned because I'm going to probably be aggravating the hell out of you posting a lot of videos. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But Make sure my video that I posted before this, I posted it today also. Earlier this morning, I posted it. Make sure you, you, right there, you. Did you subscribe? Did you like the video? Did you comment below on that video? Make sure you do it on this one too. But on that one, you can win this little guy right here. If you want to win... A Mac quad. Make sure you go back over on that video and like it. Have a great day, guys.